Hey guys, and welcome to our brand new Design Basics video series. My name is Eric Vasquez, and this is brought to you by myself as well as Design Cuts. Now, in these videos, I'm looking to help you guys with some of the basic stuff in graphic design, and we're going to kick it off by starting a brand new lesson about using negative space. So it's a very quick tip kind of thing, down and dirty. Uh, you guys don't need any specific kind of assets to do this, um, but I am going to just basically explain the ideas behind these principles and how they work. So let's jump right into it. Now over here in Photoshop, I've got open a cool, you know, vector illustration, which is from one of the older design bundles. Um, I believe it was called the Beacon Collection from the Ultimate Vector Bundle. Um, but you guys can really use anything to do this. It's not something that you need to follow along with a step-by-step, -step, uh, more of just a basic demonstration. So this will work with any kind of, you know, image. And like I said, you know, using negative space, you can apply it to so many different things. So let's jump in and get started. Here, I just have this nice looking vector illustration. And if I go ahead and just change it to a solid fill color on a background here, you can see that it just totally simplifies it. Okay, so that's why I said you guys don't really need some complicated illustration. All you need is a basic, you know, shape and a background. Now, in this situation, you know, think about the positive space, which appears to be this wolf, and the negative space, which is this area, the background around it. Now, if I were to invert that, you may kind of change your mind and say, okay, well, maybe now the wolf is in the negative space, right? So thinking about the shapes and the way that they interact or play together. In the case of the wolf, you've got these negative shapes here under the belly, kind of between the leg and things like that. But if I go ahead and show you guys another example here, where let's say we're working on a logo, for example, and we've got a nice big letter like this. Well, all I have to do really is bring in this wolf and you can kind of see how now I'm using that negative space created by the shape of the wolf to help push into the letter itself. So it's essentially the same color as the background and it kind of blends in and it becomes that negative area whereas the W is now the positive shape. Okay, so just like in this example here where I showed you guys, you know, if I had something cutting into the wolf, let's say I had, you know, a big letter here, or even the word wolf, okay, and I wanna make it nice and big. All right, and let's go ahead and maybe make it the same color as our background, right? You can see that I'm now kind of doing the inverse of that. And by having the text kind of touch the edges, it creates an even more interesting look. And that's how to use negative space. All right, so you can do some really cool and interesting stuff just with a few basic shapes, as long as you understand the principles and the ideas behind it. Okay, so looking at one more example now, if I were to do something like this and bring the wolf in again and just have it overlap the W, well, you can kind of see how this works and hopefully you guys get the idea. So there's a lot of interesting ways that you guys can use negative space in your own work, whether you're creating posters, flyers, you know, typographic illustrations, or logos. The idea is to look at both shapes and the way that they interact and play together. So this was just a quick tip here, the first video in our Design Basics video series presented by Eric Vasquez and Design Cuts. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you found this tip helpful, and please let us know what other kinds of videos you guys would like to see. We're always looking for new ideas and great ways to bring you guys valuable content. So we'll see you next time.